Hey everyone. So in the last ML.NET video that we did, we went over a tokenization for natural language processing. To continue that natural language processing uh, type of pre-processing for text data, I'll go over how to remove stop words from your text data. Now stop words are words that just for us as, as people, we use them for extra context to what we're saying to help people understand what we what we mean when we're talking. But for machines, stop words just add extra noise. They don't really mean anything in terms of all the text. So when we remove those, we remove that noise and just leave out the words that the machine actually cares about and what we actually care for the machine to train on for our natural language processing. All right, so I'm in Visual Studio here. I have a .NET Core console project loaded, and I already have some things set up here. I have ML.NET installed using version 1.3.1, and I have a couple of data classes here. The text data class, which just has our input text, and the text tokens class, which has the output of our tokens as a string array. All right, so the first thing, uh, as usual, is uh, create a new ML context and kind of similar to the tokenization the stop words is similar where we don't need to provide any data to train on so we can create uh, empty data so I'll create an empty list of the text data class And then we'll create an odd data view of that empty data by using the context that data that load from enumerable. All right, now before we remove stop words, we do need to tokenize the data first, which is why tokenization is usually the very first step in natural language processing pre-processing. So we kind of do the same thing that we did before in the previous videos where we use the context that transforms that text that tokenizes into words. And we use the tokens as our output column and the text as our input column. And we set the separators like we did before. We set it as a new string, a new character array. And we do a space, a period, and a comma. But after we get the tokens, we can append on to this pipeline. And this is where we can use the transforms again and this time on the text property we can remove default stop words and in here we can give it the the same output column of tokens and the same input column of tokens since the tokens is the output column of the previous transform but we can also give it a third parameter here which is the going to be the language and so ML.NET provides different languages that have has its own dictionary of stop words that you can use. So you don't really need to provide your own stop words. And there are quite a few languages that ML.NET supports here. Not just English, but it supports uh, Arabic, uh, French, Spanish, Japanese. But we use English here. And with that pipeline created, we create kind of the model for it, and we fit on that model with our empty data. And we can create a prediction engine with the text data as the input and the text tokens as the output, and we pass in that model. Now we can perform kind of a prediction on it where it runs those transforms on some input data. So we use the engine that predict on it, and we create a new text data class, and give it some input text to perform the pre-processing on. And let's see, we can do this is a test sentence, and it is a good one. We'll just do that as an example there. And like the previous video, I had this print tokens method to kind of as a helper method to print out the tokens to the console. What it mainly does is takes in this text tokens and it uses a string builder to go through each of the tokens and appends to the string builder. Then at the end, 
I just write out everything in the string builder to the console. So we use the text tokens for that. And now let's run it and see what we get. And I forget to do the console.reline, so I'll add that real quick. Let's run this again, and our console will stay up to some. All right, and so we see we only get three words back here, and test, sentences, and good, and everything else in Modinet considered a stop word, so it got rid of it. So that's how you can use the kind of the built-in default stop words that Modinet provides. But what if you do want to provide your own stop words? Well, you can do that with a similar kind of pipeline here. So I'll do this real quick. I'll create another pipeline. I'll start off tokenizing into words, the same that we did before. And on the appended transform, instead of removing default stop words, I'll just say remove stop words. And I'll do the same input and output columns as tokens. But the third parameter is just a string array of stop words that we can provide. So I'll give it a small list. I'll just say A and it. And then we'll see what happens with that. We'll just fit that into a model, create a prediction engine. And then I'll take, kind of just copy the previous predict that we had before. Use the new engine. I'll keep the same text as it was. And I'll print out these tokens and let's run this and see what we get. All right, so that came back. We see we get the original results with the default stop words. But in the second set, we get the set where we just remove our custom stop words, which was just two words. So we get a lot more data back here. And not only just using the default built in stop word dictionary that comes with the ML.net but also how you can remove your own stop words in case you just want to use a small subset of a list of stop words. All right, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.